All right, so I'm here again with Ryan Standish, who's been extremely helpful, and he's showing us around the infrastructure inside Davis Hall, so the networking connections that are happening in, in our own building. So we looked at how the connection came out of my office, and then a bunch of connections were aggregated on a single floor at the, uh, in the networking closet that we just looked at. Now we're in the basement, and this is interesting because at some levels things are starting to come together. So this is where the connections from different floors come together here. So Ryan, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's happening in the switch. Okay, um, when we were on the uh, third floor, we saw the, the switch stack. Um, all those connections came together and that switch stack uh, aggregated all those uh, ports and all those cables together. Uh, we converted from uh, copper and electric signaling to uh, fiber and uh, uh, light signals. Okay, so this, all these fibers here uh, are connected to, again, there, there's two fibers, um, one transmit, one receive, and two sets of those for redundancy purposes from each switch stack. It comes down here um, into the main telecom room, and that's all this blue, it's actually aqua, is the, the standard uh, nomenclature for that color. Uh, and we do exactly the same thing that we did upstairs, this is another aggregation. So we have three stories, uh, we have you know, more than three, but about three sets of switch stacks, and we get to aggregate them all right here. So. Um, these switches here, uh, there is, well there's some copper here for the switches that are in this room that are uh, within the 300 um, um, foot uh, limit. Uh, everything else is beyond that distance so we're using the fiber. We're aggregating here. Again, the same thing. We have two switches yep. and both of those switches, um, I could turn off either one right now, and uh, which I'm not going to do, uh, but the other one would take the traffic uh, and the load off the other switch. Right. Uh, right now they're both on, they're actually sharing or, uh, the load between both of them. Um, but so then, this is also super important for maintenance, right? So if you guys wanted to upgrade something or fix something, I can bring down part of the infrastructure, replace it, um, and without knocking down the network connection to the entire building. Exactly. Uh, and then we, uh, so we go from here, uh, where everything's aggregated, uh, onto these two uh, yellow uh, cables here and those are also fiber optic cables. Those are a single mode, uh, a laser light source, and uh, ten or nine or 10 micron diameter glass. And again, they're on two different switches. Uh, they're redundant uh, and uh, they share the load. And from here, we leave this switch stack and uh, we take the fiber right here. Uh, this is where we, we connect in and that goes to one of our aggregation points. Where uh, we aggregate multiple buildings on campus. Right, so so it's, it's interesting, right? We went from aggregating offices together on the floor, we aggregate floors together down here, and then these, these wires are gonna lead to other buildings on campus that are gonna bring in traffic from multiple buildings on campus, right? And at some point that traffic will flow out across campus and across the broader internet. And what I think is incredibly cool is that all the traffic for this entire building is flowing out these two yellow cables, right? So all of that wiring, all those copper wires, right, we, we, we boil down that to these two incredibly high bandwidth connections, right? And that, that's, that's pretty amazing. I think that really shows you sort of what fiber optics can do.